four straight games next Friday night, and next Saturday afternoon to start the season. It will be Lindenborg and Gunn to jump center to get things underway this afternoon in Thatcher. The toss, the tap, won by the Matadors, right to left into the hands of Najib Muhammad. He'll bring the left-handed dribble into the front court on top to Mojus. Mojus swings it right side to Butts. Butts, the leading scorer from last night, draws Bailey on defense. Out on top around the three-point line to Muhammad near side. Gets a high hedge from Howard. Picks up his dribble right side to Gerardo. NBA three on the way and good to start the ball game. A deep three for Gerardo. He didn't hit anything near that last night. And a big start for the Matadors, leading it three to nothing. Bailey with the ball, left side now to Howard, way outside. Howard comes right on the dribble to Rankin, near side to Eldridge, to Bailey. Bailey looks for Gunn down low, instead finds Howard outside. Down low to Gunn, right side, faces the basket, fade away from five, is no good, and Muhammad pulls down the rebound. He'll push it into the front court for the Matadors, into the lane, running floater won't go. Lindeborg with the rebound, though, and the Matadors will reset with 20 to shoot. Out on top to Muhammad. Muhammad against man-to-man -man defense. Man, that game started quick today. The Matadors came out running. Left side to Butts. Butts with the right hand dribble on top to Gerardo. Right side to seven to shoot to Muhammad. Gets a Lindeborg screen. Long three. Draws front iron and Rankin will pull it in for Easter. Pushes up the left side. Tie with the ball. Big screen from Howard. Ray rolls to the basket. Can't find him. Left side to Gunn. On top now to Eldridge. Eldridge loses the handle but chases it down to the freshman Bailey on the right side. He'll cross over into the lane. Now kicks it to Rankin in the corner against Muhammad. He'll drive right baseline. Cut off there. Wrap around pass to Gunn. Left corner for a three. In and out. And Mojus Mojus with the rebound. Off to Muhammad near side on the run. Into the lane. Spins. Finds Mojus. Top of the key. 15 foot straightaway jumper. Rolls around and out. And Gunn with the rebound for Eastern. And then finds Rankin. On the run into the front court to Eldridge. Back to Rankin. He'll catch and shoot the three. Good for Ty Rankin. Ties the ball game. And a timeout called by Charles Harrell and Arizona Western. He is not happy. Two minutes into this one, we're tied at three. We'll take the timeout as well. We'll be back in 30 seconds. The poet asks, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Now, more than ever, the world is waiting for you to come alive, to claim your dreams. For more than 130 years, Eastern Arizona College has helped change people's lives. How can we help change yours? Welcome back inside here at Gato Gymnasium. Tie ball game, two minutes in, 13 or three to three, Eastern and Western all tied up. Mohammed into the front court, left side to Gerardo. He'll bring it out on top to Lindenborg. Right side to Butts, on top to Mojus. Mojus goes left, gets into the lane, runs into Howard, fades away, can't hit the shot. And then a foul going to be called on a rebound against Lindenborg. Nope, they're just going to say out of bounds off of Arizona Western. I thought they were going to get Lindenborg with a push underneath, but instead they just say out of bounds off of Western. It'll be Eastern basketball. Eldridge into the front court, working against Bunts, goes left side on top to Howard. Rayshon goes left into the lane, stolen away by Butts. Here come the Matadors on the run against Eldridge now, gets back, but uh, Butts can't hit the shot and gun with the rebound. Long outlet to Ty Rankin. Rankin to the basket against Lindenborg and can't hit the shot, but a foul gonna be called on the big man. The foul on Yaxel Lindenborg will be his first and the first team foul, and James Dunlop up off the bench, the big seven-footer. And now Rankin to the line to shoot a pair for the Monsters. First one is good for Ty. Dunlop, the seven-foot sophomore, into the game for the Matadors. Seven-foot, 225-pound sophomore from Boston. And now Rankin toes the line for his second. That one is nothing but net. 5-3 Eastern lead, 17-21 to play here in the first half. Muhammad will walk the ball into the front court, right side against Rankin. Rankin sporting the headband today. Goes right around a high ball screen. And a traveling violation called on Muhammad as he tried to curl into the lane, just lost his footing and went down. 
It'll be a turnover back to Eastern. Back into the Eastern lineup, number four, Q Pettis, or into the lineup, 6'3 freshman from Fort Wayne, Indiana, along with DJ Henderson, the 6'6 sophomore from Phoenix. Eastern basketball left to right, Pettis runs the point. Top of the key, goes right, back to Henderson. Henderson into the lane, pulls up from the elbow left side, rolls around the front rim and pulled down by Mojis for the Matadors. Pushes into the front court, gets into the lane, over Henderson, can't hit. The follow won't go, Dunlop gets it back. He can't hit and Gunn will pull down the rebound and be fouled in the process. The foul will go on Dunlop, his first, second team foul. So both big men now with a foul down low trying to box out Drake Gunn. Pettis left to right, gets a screen from Gunn, top of the key, on top to Henderson, left side to Bailey. Bailey drives the lane, gets to the elbow, cut off there by Gerardo, on top to Pettis. Pettis goes right around to Henderson's screen, gets to the bucket and scores. You don't do like Q do, count it for Q Pettis, 7-3. Eastern on top, Gerardo into the front court right side, down low to Dunlap against Henderson, backs himself down, dribble team out to Gerardo right side, and he double dribbled the basketball. That's the right call. He caught the ball one-handed, one bounce, caught, then bounced it again. It'll be a turnover. Back to Eastern, 16-11 to play first half. Eastern up 7-3 over Arizona Western. Q into the front court, leaves it to Henderson, left corner now to Rankin. Ty has the baseline, instead pulls the trigger and buries it for Ty Rankin. The Monsters coming out hot from the floor, and they lead it 10 to 3 over the Matadors. Into the front court, Gerardo with it, right side for the Mats. Gets a big Dunlop screen, comes left with it, but can't find Muhammad, who is blanketed by Bailey on the near side. Finally finds Butts, right side against Gunn. 10 seconds to shoot. Now Butts gets a high ball screen, pulls up straight away for a three off the left iron, but Gerardo pulls down the rebound for the Matadors and they'll reset as Mojis drives the left baseline up and in. 10-5, Monsters lead five minutes into this one. Pettis with it, top of the key. Leaves it to Henderson, fakes the long three, pump fake on top to Bailey around the outside to Rankin, Rankin comes left around to Henderson screen and he carried the basketball. He had Muhammad on a little bit of skates there but he palmed the basketball on his left hand as he brought it back across. It'll be a turnover to the Monsters. 15.04 remain in the first half of this one. Eastern has doubled up Western 10-5 early on. Muhammad into the front court right side to Gerardo now around near side to Muhammad again. Looking low for Dunlap, he's blanketed by Henderson, finds him anyways, back to the basket. The seven footer against Henderson, step up under on top to Muhammad now for three. That's short, Mojis with a one-handed rebound though. Pump fake, gets it to a cutting Dunlop on the, in the lane, can't hit the chippy, and a foul on the rebound. And, and Drake Gunn hits the deck, gets up a little aggravated, and Dunlop will pick up his second. Dunn does a great job of boxing out the bigs. Gunn listed on the roster at 6'5", but he plays much bigger than that. Dunlop's seven foot, and that's two fouls against Dunlop, trying to keep up with Gunn. Into the Eastern lineup, C.J. Blanton, the 6'2 freshman from Dayton, Ohio, replacing Eldridge. Into the front court. Gunn with it on the baseline, spins on Mojis. High off the glass, it won't fall. And Lindenborg with the rebound. 10-5 Eastern leads, 14-17 to play in the first half. Gerardo wide open for a three right side, buries it. He's got two of them tonight. And it's a 10-8 Eastern lead, 14 minutes to play in the first half. Pettis into the front court to Rankin. On top to Henderson, swings it around to Blanton. Blanton comes around the three-point line right side to Gunn. Now back to Henderson to Pettis. Pettis comes right, gets into the lane, pulls up from the free throw line, around and off, and Lindenborg with the rebound. For the Matadors, into the hands of Muhammad. He'll back it out near the time stripe, gets a screen from Lindenborg. Goes right with it to the right elbow. Swings it around to Gerardo. He thought about the deepest three of the season, but instead gets it back to Muhammad with eight to shoot. He gets around the high ball screen and he'll fingle, finger roll it in. 
and a timeout called by the Gila Monsters. A 5-0 run for the Matadors. They've tied it at 10, 13-23 to play in the first half. We'll be back after this full timeout. The poet asks, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Now, more than ever, the world is waiting for you to come alive, to claim your dreams. For more than 130 years, Eastern Arizona College has helped change people's lives. How can we help change yours? Welcome back inside Gateau Gymnasium. Lee Patterson with you, 13.23 to play in the first half. The Matadors on a 5-0 run to tie the game at 10 here against Eastern. Full court pressure, Tim Eldridge back into the lineup and he can't hang on to it, it goes out of bounds. Turnover back to the Matadors. Into the Matador lineup also number 20, Stanley Harley. He was a, he was a second leading scorer. Last night for the Matadors, he'll inbound. Into Muhammad, top of the key, gets a Moja screen, picked up by Blanton, goes left into the lane, steps through, can't hit the shot, but the tip in by Lindenborg is in. And the Matadors lead now 12-10 in the midst of a 7-0 run. Eldridge into the front court against Gerardo, right side. Now to Henderson, Henderson drives the right baseline, gets to the bucket, kicks it out on top to Blanton for a three, in and out, rebounded by Lindenborg. Now check that, that's Harley with the rebound for the Matadors up to Gerardo in the deep left corner, drives on Blanton, left side, leaves it down low to Lindenborg, off to Harley, Harley to Mojis, left side for a three, good. The Matadors did this last night. A 10-0 run for the Matadors to lead 15 to 10, 12-26 to play in the first half. Pettis into the front court to Henderson. Henderson needs to find somebody, finally gets it to Eldridge. Eldridge with 14 to shoot. Gonna set up, set play with the top of the key. Gets a screen from Howard, goes right. Step back, three ball on the way, and got it for Tim Eldridge. Used a lot of shot clock and then was able to hit the shot from the right angle to end the scoring drought. 15-13 Matadors. 11.55 to play here in the first half. Mojis in the top of the key against Howard. Picks up his dribble, shoots from the elbow. That rolls in, he's got the shooter's touch. Mojis with another bucket, 17-13. Matadors on top. Henderson for a long three, draws front iron. Nobody underneath but Matadors. Lindenborg with the rebound. Off to Mohammed. Stolen away by Eldridge. Picks the pocket. Four on two. Eldridge in the lane. Right side to Blanton. Blanton kicks it out to Eldridge. He'll drive to Blanton. Extra pass for a three. Good for C.J. Blanton. 17-16 Matadors as Eastern back to within a bucket, or to within a point. Looks like wholesale substitutions coming at the next dead ball for Eastern. Harley into the front court, left side for Western. Gets a screen out on top against Eldridge. Picks up his dribble, now finds Muhammad across the court, right side. 10 to shoot, nice defensive. Possession here, Harley with the ball right side, pulls up from 12 and buries it from the baseline. 1916 Matadors with 10.39 to play in the first half. Pettis into the front court, goes left, gets into the lane, over Lindenborg and scores it for Q Pettis. He turned the corner. Q, 6'3", 170 pound freshman from Fort Wayne, gets into the lane for the bucket. 1918 Matadors. Harley left side. Looks low, now goes right into the lane. Harley running floater over two, no good. And Henderson with the weak side rebound. Off to Eldridge. Eldridge to Blanton, left corner for a three. Get in there, ball, no good. Rebounded by Henderson and he's fouled on the way back up. He'll go to the line to shoot two. The foul will go on 50, Yaxel Lindenborg. That'll be his second. It was on 50. DJ Henderson to the line to shoot two. Now first one is up and good. 
Back into the Eastern lineup, number five, Davion Bailey. And in for the first time, number three, Jackson Gowdy. And the second one is up and good for Henderson as well. The second bucket was good. The foul has been updated to Yaxel Lindenborg, his second. So Dunlop and Lindenborg both have two now for the Matadors. Ten minutes to play the first half. Eastern back on top by one, 20 to 19. Gerardo with the ball right side, works against Gunn, gets past him. Scoop shot in the lane is good. Gunn got a little sideways, and Gerardo took advantage of it all the way to the bucket. And the Matadors back on top, 21-20. Eldridge, crossover dribble, gets left into the lane. He'll go right-handed, can't draw anything. And off on the rebound underneath. Goes off of Malik Salahuddin, who's in for the first time for the Matadors. Pettis back into the Eastern lineup, replacing Eldridge. Pettis will inbound baseline right. Four freshmen on the floor right now for Coach Maurice Leitsky. Pettis lobs it in on top to Bailey. Bailey hands it off to Pettis as the Matadors sit into the 2-3 zone. Blanton with the ball, left side to Gowdy. He'll pull the trigger from the baseline, can't hit back iron. Mojis with the rebound out to Salahuddin. He'll push it in the front court against Q. Now on top to Mojis. Mojis goes left against Gunn. Over Gowdy, can't hit. Rebounded by Gerardo though, 15-foot jumper. That's out, no good. And Gunn with another rebound for Eastern. He'll push it up left side. Gunn leaves it for Pettis, who goes left on the dribble. Gets a right screen, pulls up for the top of the key. Pettis buries it for just a long two. Just a long two for Pettis, but Eastern regains the lead, 22-21, with 8.52 to play in the first half. Salahuddin into the front court, on top to Mojis. Now back to Gerardo, right side. Swings it around to Marvin Pitts, who's into the lineup for the first time. Top of the key against Gowdy. Off to Salahuddin, nearly loses the handle against Blanton, now drives the lane, running lefty floater off the glass and good. And Coach Maurice Leisky asking them to watch the push off. It did look like Salahuddin got a little forearm shove on the way to the basket. 23-22 Western. Pettis into the front court, picks up his dribble, leaves it for Gowdy in the lane, balls loose, Pettis gets it back. He'll go all the way to the bucket, blocked out of bounds by Harley. It'll stay with the Monsters with 16 to shoot. Ty Rankin back into the Eastern line of replacing C.J. Blanton. Pettis will inbound from the left baseline. Into Gunn. Gunn tries to come across court, picked off by Mojis. Three on one, Mojis in the lane, left side blocked by Rankin. And Ty did a nice job of staying home and, and just splitting the two offensive players into the into the Western lineup, number 12, Evan Butts, and number 32, Najib Muhammad. Muhammad set to inbound. He's gonna have to hurry, finally find Salahuddin. It's poked away and out of bounds. Last touch by the Matadors though, and it will be Eastern basketball. Ty Rankin turns to his head coach and says, hey, that's my fault. That's the stuff you can do as a sophomore. You're a lot more confident with yourself. You can admit when you go, yeah, that was my bad. Pettis into the front court for Eastern, left to right, trailing by one with 7.55 to play. Gowdy has his pocket picked on the left block by Sims. Off to Muhammad, right side to Mojis. Mojis through the lane, left-handed, no good. And Rankin will pull down the weak side rebound. Quickly up to Bailey, left side. He'll shoot a transition three, bury it for Davion Bailey. And a timeout called by Eastern. Bailey hits the big three, makes it 25-23 Eastern on top. 7.37 to play in the first half. We've got a timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds.
Welcome back inside Gateau Gymnasium. Lee Patterson with you. 7.37 to play in the first half. That last Davion Bailey three gives Eastern a 25-23 lead over the Arizona Western Matadors. Matador basketball right to left. Muhammad runs the point. Right side to Salahuddin. He'll bring it on top to Pitts. Pitts hands it off to Butts. Right side. Butts goes right. Blocked by Bailey and picked up by Henderson. Nice trail defense there by Davion. Pettis into the front court against Salahuddin. Goes left, now back right. Crossover in the corner to Gunn. Gunn on top to Henderson. Henderson to Bailey. Bailey spins, comes right. Draws the double team. Extra pass to Henderson. Henderson pushes off the defender as Salahuddin stays in front of Henderson. Henderson is 6'7". Saladhuddin stands at 6'2", but just stood right in front of him. And <laughs> DJ Henderson said, how was that on me? But it was on him. Into the front court, Saladhuddin with it for the Matadors. Eastern leads 25-23, 6.50 to play in the first half. Butts with the ball right side now to Joao Camargo, who's checked in for the first time. Off to Pitts up top, right side to Camargo. Nine to shoot. Camargo goes left on gun, spins in the lane, and a traveling violation called on Camargo. It's that extra third step that that anybody that's played, Camargo listed on the roster from Brazil, anybody that's played that FIFA level basketball, you get in, in the in the European League, you get zero, one, two, as Henderson hits an elbow jumper from the right side to extend the Eastern lead. In the Euro lead, in the European level basketball, zero, one, two, three. In American basketball, you get one, two. That's the difference. Pitts with the basketball. Top of the key, he's harassed there by Henderson. He hands it off to Muhammad between the circles. 13 to shoot. Muhammad gets past everybody, blows to the basket and scores right-handed. They cut the lead to two. 27-25, Monsters lead, 5.55 to play in the first half. We'll have the Kempton Chevrolet halftime report coming up shortly. Pettis into the front court on top to gun. Down low to Henderson. He'll catch. Goes right against Pitts. Running floaters. Hits the side of the backboard. And Camargo chases it down for the Matadors. Off to Muhammad. Muhammad sprints it into the front court. And he'll slow it down. Now between the circles, works against Gunn. Goes right against Henderson. Loses his footing and out of bounds. There was bodies all over the place, but they're going to say incidental contact on Henderson. Ray Howard back into the Eastern lineup, replacing DJ Henderson. Eastern leads by two, 27-25. 5.25 left in the first half. As Q Pettis, the freshman guard, brings it into the front court. Goes right around a gun screen. Now leaves it back to Drake. Pump fake, gun to the basket. Misses the dunk and he's fouled. He, wow, elevation for Drake Gunn. The foul was on 10, Marvin Pitts. They're gonna say it's two shots for Drake Gunn. Man, did he leave quick from the floor. We knew Drake was athletic, but man, two-handed. Gunn's first free throw is short. <laughs> That's how basketball works, though. You get fouled on a big dunk and tip that you miss, and you leave your first free throw short. Back into the Matador lineup, Mojis Mojis replacing Pitts. 5-12 to play first half. Eastern leads at 27-25. And now Drake Gunn back to the line for a second. That one is up and through. 28-25, Eastern by three, with 5-10 to play in the first half. Muhammad works against Rankin, top of the key, hands it off to Salahuddin. Now against Rankin, left side to Muhammad in the corner for a three, good. These Matador, these Matador shooters, if they get two feet set, they're pretty darn accurate. 28-28. 4.48 to play in the first half. Pettis with the ball, top of the key, goes right against Marquise Hargrove. Pettis goes to the floor, will have a jump ball, whistles, bodies, what's the call? 
It'll be a jump ball, and the alternating possession will give it to the Monsters. 4.40 to play in the first half, tied at 28. Pettis to inbound. Into Gunn, right back to Pettis, who goes left on Hargrove. 11 to shoot. He's looking for a screen from Howard. He goes right, loses the handle again, into the hands of Rankin. Long three on the way, front iron no. Pettis will chase down the long rebound, and Eastern will reset with 20. Hargrove into the lanes, up and under Camargo and score for Q Pettis and Eastern back on top by one, 30, or by a bucket, 30 to 28 with 412 to play in the half. Hargrove with the ball left side, on top to Mojis for a long three, can't hit. Howard high for the rebound for the Monsters. Leaves it for Bailey. Bailey will give it back to Pettis. Pettis goes left into the lane to Rankin, left side. He'll drive the left baseline. Leave it for Howard in the lane. Out to Q for a three. Nope. Howard with the rebound, though. Stolen away by Hargrove. Stolen back by Howard. Howard down low to Pettis, and he'll lay it up and in. 32-28 Eastern by four. 3.33 to play. In the first half, Salahuddin into the front court. Hand it off to Muhammad, he'll go right into the lane, fouled by Ray Howard, and Howard's holding his left knee. Into the Eastern lineup, number one, Tim Eldridge, number 24, DJ Henderson, and back into the Western lineup is Gerardo, and we've got a timeout on the floor called by the Matadors. 3.21 to play in the first half, Eastern 32, Western 28. We'll be back after this 30 second timeout. The poet asks, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Now, more than ever, the world is waiting for you to come alive, to claim your dreams. For more than 130 years, Eastern Arizona College has helped change people's lives. How can we help change yours? Welcome back inside Gateau Gymnasium. Lee Patterson with you. We're on the campus of Eastern Arizona College today. We appreciate your listening on KATO 1230 AM, online at HealValleyCentral.net, and on the EAC live stream page today as well. So that last foul was before the shot. So it'll be Matador basketball, baseline right under their basket. Into Mojis, left side, catch, shoot, smooth, 10 footer, won't go. And Rankin will pull down the rebound. Into the hands of the sophomore guard, Eldridge. Into the front court against Gerardo. Somebody's got to move on offense for Eastern. Near side to Gunn. Gunn, now back to Eldridge. Left corner to Rankin. Rankin lobs it to DJ. DJ back to the basket. Reverses it to Eldridge. Extra pass to Gunn. Right corner for three is an air ball. And Muhammad with the rebound. He'll push it against Bailey into the front court. And a foul going to be called on Davion Bailey. Bailey had the ball initially. But as he was falling away, kind of reached down, and that's what Coach Leitsky's telling him right now. He said, hey, you, you had him blocked, but then you kind of leaned over, and that's what they called you on the foul with. And Muhammad will go to the line to shoot two. That'll be the first on Bailey, correct? Muhammad's free throw is good. 32-29 Eastern, 2.52 to play in the first half. Second free throw is up and good. 32-30, Eastern by two with 2.50 left here in the first half. Rankin into the front court for the Monsters. Gets a Henderson screen, top of the key. Left corner to Rankin, on top to Gunn. Gunn to Bailey, he'll catch and shoot the three. Buries it for Davion Bailey, the freshman, with a big shot from the right side, 35-30. Trying to pump up the crew. Salahuddin into the front court against Gunn. Can't shake him. Off to Mojis. Mojis tries to cross over Gunn. Gets into the lane. Pulls up from the elbow. In and out. And Bailey with the rebound. He's feeling it. He wants the ball. Pushes it himself into the front court left or right. Gets a screen. Top of the key. Bailey around Salahuddin. Running floater is good for Davion Bailey. What a difference a game makes for Davion Bailey. 37-30 Eastern with two minutes to play in the first half. 
Muhammad into the front court, looking for a screen, gets it, goes left into the lane. And he traveled with the basketball as DJ Henderson went up straight up in the air. Muhammad went up with it, never blocked him, and he came down with the ball. That is a travel. 153 to play first half. Eastern leads by seven, trying to push it to double digits before halftime. Eldridge into the front court, top of the key. Around a high ball screen from Henderson. He curls all the way into the bucket. On top to Gunn, stolen away by Hargrove. He's going to try to throw it down. Blocked by Gunn, though. And But Gunn's going to be foul, foul on the rebound as Salahuddin. So the foul will be on Gunn, his first. Q Pettis back into the lineup, replacing Eldridge. It will be Muhammad inbound baseline left into Mojis underneath the basket. And we'll have a reach in foul underneath on number five, Bailey. That'll be his second, fifth team foul, non shooting. 92 seconds to play in the first half. Muhammad lobs it in on top to Hargrove against Bailey. Goes right, gets into the lane, loses his handle, and he's going to be called with a traveling violation. It'll be a turnover. Back to the Monsters. C.J. Blanton into the lineup, replacing Davion Bailey. Bailey will get a rest. It'll be Eastern basketball left to right, 126 to play. The clock's not running yet. There it goes. They're going to put 27 seconds on the shot clock. They're going to let Butts check in after they get the clock set. 125 on the clock, Eastern leads 37-30. Coming up to halftime as Henderson gets it in to Pettis. Works against Gerardo, top of the key. Pettis goes right, draws the double team, swings it to Gunn, left side. Gunn against Gerardo, left side to Rankin. Down to Henderson, left on the left block. Goes right into the lane, now spins left and he traveled with the basketball. If he would have pivoted, he would have been fine, but he jump stopped and then pivoted. 67 seconds left in the first half. Monsters by seven here in this matinee affair with the Matadors. Gerardo left side against Blanton, blocked by CJ. He gets the ball back up against Salahuddin to Henderson. Three ball in transition. Back iron, no. And Mojas with the rebound. That would have been huge before the break. Mojis goes right against Henderson. Running floater won't go. Rebounded by Blanton for Eastern. Here come the Monsters on the run to Pettis. Pettis back in the lane to Blanton. Scoop shot won't go. Rebounded by Gunn. His follow will go. 39-30 Eastern by nine with 27 seconds to play in the first half. And the shot clock is off. The Matadors can hold for a final shot. Man, does Eastern look like a different team today. Muhammad. Into the front court against Rankin, down to 10 to shoot. He's going to go one on one against the sophomore. Gets a screen from Mojis, goes left, picked up by Pettis, right side to Salahuddin, into the lane, over Pettis, won't go. And Blanton will have a shot from half court at the buzzer, short, and we'll head to the break. Eastern Arizona College leads the 18th ranked undefeated Matadors 39 to 30. We'll be back for the Kimpton Chevrolet halftime report coming up right after this. <laughs> 